Good morning, YouTube friends from Knoxville, Tennessee at Wingding 40. This is the 40th anniversary of Wingding. Isn't that amazing? I was at the Museum of the Appalachians last night for the opening ceremony. My understanding is there's 8,000 people at this Wingding. And I saw a group of about, I'd say 20 people from Switzerland, all wearing their red caps with the Switzerland logo on it, or the Swiss flag, the white cross. People come from all over the world for this. I, I had no idea it was that popular. Had a guy come up to me and shake my hand from Israel, said that he watches all my videos. It was kind of nice. I'm on my way to Deals Gap and the Tail of the Dragon. I'm on US 129 right now and I guess in about 18 or 19 miles I'll get off of here and get onto the part that gets twisty. Some of you have asked, uh, you're at Wingding and you want to know, you know, when you have an opportunity to, for us to meet. So what I decided to do is on Thursday, I'm going to go to the trade show and I'll be there probably for, I don't know, at least three or four hours. So what I thought I might do is about 10 o'clock, I'll just hang around the entry into the trade show. I'll have my cruise man's garage cap and shirt on. So if anybody, uh, wants to meet me that'd be a good time to come up and meet me I'll of course have my DVDs caps and all that junk with me but so that's where I'll be on Thursday about 10 o'clock 10 a.m. I think they open at 9 so I'll be there at 10 and then I'll probably be there most of the day or until the afternoon so anyway, today is a day to ride and see the area around Knoxville. There's some beautiful rides in this area. Some of the best motorcycle riding in the world is right here in the Knoxville, Tennessee area. I noticed a lot of you have been watching these Wingding Motovlogs and much appreciate the comments and the likes. And I'll remind you again, if you like these motor vlogs and want to see more videos from Cruiser Man's Garage, don't forget to click that little subscribe button down below. And if you want notification, click on that little bell icon and YouTube will let you know every time I post a new video. I am on US 129, heading north toward the Tail of the Dragon. You've heard about it. It's one of the most challenging roads in the world for motorcycles or sports cars. 111, I think it's 118 curves in 11 miles. What? But we're getting pretty close, I think, to the real start of the uh, interesting part. I believe there's a lake up here on the right somewhere, and that's kind of where a lot of guys you know, before they really take off, that's where they uh, stage their ride from. Usually you see a lot of Corvettes, uh, you know, little Mazda Miatas, little sporty cars driving this road too. Of course, lots of sport bikes, but there's all kinds of bikes. Harleys, Goldwings, you should see a lot of Goldwings with the uh, wing ding in town. But this is what a trip to Tennessee and North Carolina is all about. Riding the tail of the dragon. Now I'm going to try the DCT transmission in tour mode first to see how it handles it. Uh, we'll be going mostly uphill and see if it downshifts properly. I can always override and do a manual downshift if I need to, if I need to, you know, Right now, I'm just in automatic mode. Of course, we're not on any real uh, testing curves. But once it starts getting the switchbacks and hairpin turns, especially when you're going up or down a hill, 
Uh, it'll be interesting to see how the DC tra DCT transmission handles that in automatic mode. The last thing you want is a unexpected shift in the middle of a, you know, a turn, especially if you're going downhill. So I may just switch to manual mode and just shift manually. We'll just have to wait and see how it goes. Now, first of all, I'm going to tell all of you, I am not trying to set a world record for riding the tail of the dragon. I take it pretty slow and easy. Uh, if sport bike guys come along, they want to pass me, go right ahead. If a Harley comes along, wants to pass me, go right ahead. I, you know, my ego can take it. Uh, I'm riding my ride and I'm here to enjoy the scenery, enjoy the curves, enjoy the ride. And uh, if you're looking for somebody to show you how to ride this road fast, uh, I'm not your guy. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is the tale of the dragon with Cruise Man. Trying to get my Chris Caliente voice down. Now, most of you guys probably ride this a heck of a lot faster than 30 miles an hour. But not Cruise Man. Have you ever seen a more beautiful piece of road? Here comes the first switchback. Now see that shifting, so I don't want that shifting, so I'm going to go ahead and go into manual mode because I'll have more control because that DCT wants to shift two or three times and it can really mess you up when you're in a tight turn going up or down a hill like that. So right now I'm in manual mode. No reason to take any risks. And even in manual mode, it wants to shift. Uh, no, I didn't get it in manual mode. Now I'm in manual mode. Transmission's very responsive. It shifts almost instantaneously once you hit that button. Try not to cross that yellow line. It's very dangerous to do that. It's been a while, like I said, first time I've ridden a road like this on the 2018. So I'm getting used to the handling of this bike. Actually going up these hills, I think is easier than going down. But I'm loving this manual mode. 
really gives you a lot of control over the bike. Pretty much staying in third gear most of the time. Yeah, it's real important to not cross that center line because somebody can come zipping down the other way really quick and in a hurry. And you just don't want that to... That could be a bad situation. Got a little cramp in my hand. Probably gripping the throttle too tight. just a beautiful day and nobody here for some reason not sure why because it's a perfect morning bike actually handles a lot better than you would expect an 800 and some odd pound bike to handle. There's some uh, rutted out places on the road. I'm surprised they haven't repaired that because it's kind of dangerous. A couple of Harleys making their way down the hill, mountain. I call it a hill, it's really a mountain, I think. Yeah, I don't think you could do this road without the manual mode. I really don't. And this bike has enough torque that you can almost leave it in thir third gear the whole way. Even at 1,000 or 1,200 RPM, it's still got enough torque to keep you from getting in trouble. I'm downshift into the second every now and then. Here's a photography guy. I'm not sure if he had his camera ready. I have to remember that, 129 photos. Maybe Killboy changed his name or maybe there's another one now doing it. A couple of gold wings. Or a BMW and a gold wing.
it's a challenging road because you really can't let your mind wander. See another photography. Well, maybe they changed their name to 129 Photos. Another little switch back here. There's Kill Boy. Gets you right there on the hairpin. So I guess he's got some competition now. Last time I did this, I think I had Ricky on the back with me on the 2007. I'm not sure if it's the 2007 or the 2005. I didn't get to do it on the 2012. Just never got out here. You know, I could speed up this video and make it look like I really hauled ass on this road. You guys would never know the difference. I think I am going to set a record, probably for the slowest time through the Dragon. But at least it's a record. I really think this suspension on this 2018 is much better suited for this ride.
That one was 129slayer.com. Never seen that before. Guess they got a lot of photo guys out here now. Big business. People come from all over the world to ride this road. I'll tell you what, this DCT in manual mode shifts like a dream. I've never used manual mode. This is my first time. I love it. I might just ride like this all the time. couple of trikes See that guy across that yellow line? He was way over in my lane. If that had happened and I'd been, it would have been bad news if I'd have been up there about 15 seconds or 10 seconds earlier or even five seconds earlier. That would have been bad. That guy was way over right in the middle of my lane. That's the tree of shame behind me. That's what happens when you go too fast riding the dragon. The dragon always wins. 